Hello friends and welcome to this presentation. We'll be designing an eccentric footing using portal structure and we'll proceed to also view the detailed drawing of the eccentric footings in this video. So stay connected as we get started. You have to click on the new but by then take note we are using portal structure version 2025 for this video. In the project code, key in the name of the project eccentric footing design. We proceed to select the template Based on the code of practice, we'll be considering United Kingdom Euro code. Click on OK. And then, once the template is ready, we proceed to the modeling tab and then select on the grid. In the grid line dialog, in the label A and then direction 1, we pick the first point. Hold the control key to have a straight line and place the first grid line. And then change the direction to direction 2 to place the second grid line in the vertical directions using the same manner just like this and then click on close to close this uh, grid line dialog then we we'll proceed click on the column in the column dialog the column section are 2 to 5 by 2 to 5 millimeters click at the grid line a1 intersection to have it placed successfully. You can see. Then we we'll close this dialog. Navigate to the 3D. So this is what we have modeled so far. And then we are going to be using the default height of the column 3 meter. Just like this. Proceed to save this project first. After which we go to the loading load cases and combinations load generator then we click on ok at this default loading combinations ok again to have it applied so we get back to the load editor so in the load editor dialog we are going to be considering point load so click on that point load so in the magnitude of the load, we take in 100 kN axial load and then you place it at the top cost strength of the column which is the dead load we will be considering in this design. Click on the OK options to have it applied. Set the project again. So we go to analysis, reading analysis and then we check this model. Everything is okay. Get back to the video analysis tab. And then video analysis again to have the single loaded column analyzed successfully. You can see. Click on closed. Then we need to design the section of this column. Select it and then section design. So in this dialog, Go to interactive design options you can see the color section as well as the height the section has been designed successfully you can see click on the ok options and you have to ok again so we proceed to the design of the eccentric footing All right then you have to navigate to story zero whenever you want to design footing in product structure select it before we proceed please subscribe and join our channel membership don't forget to subscribe let's proceed so click on the insert part footing so in the back footing window you can see design is done based on the position of the column or the default position of the column on the footage you can see what we have so this provisions is the part footed eccentricity provision so you can use that provision to control the position of the columns on the part footing you can see just like this so wherever you wish to place the column on the part footing you can always use this provision to control it that is to centralize it to default provision you can also key in in the eccentricity provision both x and y to have it less then you must click on design at each point you change the position of column on the part footing and then 
be seen that design is successful. So that is how you can actually navigate in this part footing eccentricity. So it depends on where you placed the column on the part footing. You determine the footing thickness as well as the LY and LS length of the footing successfully. What we are going to be considering in the eccentricity X minus 500 millimeters as the position of the column. Click on design. It's been designed, you can see. If you get to the 3D options, here we have the detailed reinforcement arrangement. I wouldn't want to have the top reinforcement. So for me to remove that, I will navigate to the rebar provisions and then I will uncheck this top rebars options. To remove the top rebars, now I have this. You can see. Alright, so at this point, the design is successful. And then here are the details of the design. I can click on OK options to have the foot in place just like this, you can see. After which we can proceed to view the foot in detail. We go to the drawings and report options. You can see part base right there. And this is the drawing of the eccentric part footing. You can see and the position of the columns successfully. You can also view the single columns detail drawing right there. Just like this, everything is being designed successfully. All right, I'll close those tabs. You can as well produce this in Prota Detail. So you click on the Prota Detail right there, 2025 version, to open the Prota Detail uh, model. So we can generate all of these drawings together in Prota Detail 2025 version. So we use the author options. And in the draw detail dialog, click on draw. Pick any point in the space to have all it, all of the drawings just like this. You can see the footings, and then here is the distance of the column from the left end of the footing. All of the designs of the column sections and the column elevations are successful. This is the footings, a central footing design detail. We can proceed to export this to AutoCAD just like this and then click on export. This will open the dialog of click right here to open this drawing in AutoCAD. So product structure 2025 version is quite very effective. Very very effective and then there is a lot of improvement. Over here click on continue to have all the drawings in AutoCAD just like this. Okay, so we are done with this design and I want to remind you visit our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join our channel membership. But we have a lot of videos, useful videos in our channel membership. Have a nice day.